If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Crypto Night, the crypto investor channel. I'm Boris, so let's dive in. Today I'm with Colton. How are you doing, Colton? I'm doing great, Boris. How are you? Doing well. You look like you just shaved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, want, I look like 12 years old now, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It makes you uh, definitely a big change. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about uh, Celsius today. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um, there we go. All right. Do you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So Celsius, we just want to go over a few things, you know, probably, uh, I think we had done a review already uh, a few months back, but there's a few things I want you to be aware. It's a great platform for staking and um, the rewards are actually pretty good overall. Uh, you use them, uh, correct, uh, Colton? Yeah, yeah. The, this is my staking platform. Uh, every week, uh, every Sunday, I get a notification from them. You know, a dollar, a dollar fifty of rewards have been put into my account. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so yeah, they they pay on a weekly basis. Um, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy to do <clears throat> because basically all you have to do is send money to your wallet, and that's it. Your wallet's on uh, Celsius and it's automatically staked. There is nothing else but sending the money. Now, the great thing is retrieving money. Mm -hmm. I have done it multiple, multiple times. Very straightforward and pretty much free. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I've tried every time to see like, then is there gonna be how much, uh, how much are the fees? And the fees are either nothing or it's really, really low which is surprising because even in ERC-20 uh, protocols, which, I mean, it's Ethereum and it's usually pretty expensive. Uh, I don't know. I think they group their stuff in batches mm. and they reduce, they reduce down the, the, the fee so low that you, you pay almost nothing. So it, mm. it's great, you know. The only thing to know is whenever you are retrieving money out of Celsius, make sure you register your address in advance because they have a 24-hour mechanism in which when you input a new address it is not available for the first 24 hours so remember that if you're like in uh, emergency mode like oh i need to sell something yeah if you haven't registered the address so probably if you're using binance or coinbase or uh, qcoin you know register the address in advance of the wallet on uh, your exchange so that you'll be able to send it you know uh, at a moment's notice whenever you need it but on the rewards they are great uh you know they're still offering so now they offer two types of rewards either the in-kind rewards meaning that whatever you stake they will pay you in the same currency mm -hmm. or if you are doing the in-sell reward program uh, they give you a little bonus but then they they don't pay you you know uh, the same than uh, they would, you know, if um, uh, if you're using the in-kind. So they, they, they're using the Celsius token to, to pay you. Now, that's not available everywhere. I don't believe it's available in the U.S. In the U.S., I think you can only do staking in-kind. But for other countries, you can choose between which one you want. Um, so as you can see, they do a lot of different stable coins, which is really great. And they're all pretty, uh, at pretty good levels. Uh, and then uh, they do gold tokens, you know, whatever. I don't think people use those that much, but here, here are the cryptocurrencies. So synthetics, uh, they are doing 14%, you know, for the synthetics. Matic, it's at 9.1%, DOT at 9.02, AVAX 705, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. So, and they do quite a bit, you know. I mean, they do, you know, Inch, Ave, Dash, Compound, uh, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, uh, Tezos, uh, SushiSwap, uh, Cardano. I mean, they, they have like really a, 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 all that kind of stuff. Now, it gets a little tricky whenever you get down to Ethereum and, and Bitcoin because basically up to 30 Ethereum, they'll pay you 672, which is very high. 
you, you won't find really much better than that. But it's only for the first 30 Ethereum, which now for some people, that's quite a bit of money. So <laughs> they may not have 30 Ethereums. For those who have more, after that, the rest will be at 442, which is not bad, you know. And then it's 535 or 352 if you do in kind. Mm -hmm. And then for Bitcoin, they have the same mechanism, you know, for the first quarter of a Bitcoin, they'll pay you 620 and then they'll pay you 305 on all the other Bitcoins that you have. Quick question, so, Boris. Do these yes. rates, do these rates change? Yes, they do and change. It, but it, the cool thing with Celsius, they don't change that often. They try to have stable rates. So I've seen them change a little bit over time. But mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. I staked some Ave at 486. It used to be 586 a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it went down to 486 maybe nine months ago. And since then it hasn't changed. Okay. And are you locked in? Are you locked into the rate when you did it? Or are you currently at no, 4.8? It's, it's okay. it, whatever the rate is at the time, they pay you on a weekly basis. So that okay. 486, for instance, they will pay you that um you know, over a period of one week, you know, mm -hmm. if yes, the sir. next week it drops to, let's say, 386, then starting from now on, they'll pay you 386, you know, which is a mm -hmm. yearly an annual percentage uh, yield, you know, so it's it's the yield redivided by the number of weeks. Yep, definitely. Yes, sir. Another question, I guess, that people have, what happens if I deposit, you know, Let's say we're using Ave as an example. Let's say I deposit, you know, a thousand Ave today, but we're already in the in you know the week has already started. You know, let's say by a day, by two days, by three days, it doesn't matter because you can deposit at any time. It makes no difference. The thing goes basically from Sunday to Sunday or Monday to Monday, depending on 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 uh, the clients and where they're located and all that kind of stuff, but. The way they do it is, let's say you deposit money on a Wednesday and technically your reward day is Monday. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. They're going to compound. They, they're going to do it for the rest of the week. So you, you won't have a complete week of rewards because obviously you just deposited the money two days after the new cycle started. But they will still accumulate, you know, on, 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 on all the days. So you're still getting paid. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm depositing m money today, but I have to wait next Monday for it to start earning. No, it's earning right now, you know, but since you don't have a complete week, the first reward you'll get will be slightly smaller and then the following week, you know, will be bigger. So you can add at any time, which okay. is great. Mm -hmm. The other thing is no lock-in periods, which is another big thing. You know, Binance has some pretty decent rewards, but one of its biggest drawbacks is the fact that uh, you have to stake it for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So it's usually the, the one of the biggest problem is you have to stake for a while. So big difference. So overall, you know, lots of the main coins that people are looking for. Uh, you can go check it out, you know, at uh, Celsius.network, which is their address. Uh, the other big thing I wanted people to be aware and also be careful with is borrowing money because Celsius is also known for uh, people who can actually borrow against their Bitcoin, you know. Um, and the problem is that uh, you see borrow at 1% with your crypto and it does work and it's great and I've done it, you know. But here are the two things you need to be really aware of. First of all, you need to be careful with the money that you are uh, borrowing. Because if the market goes down and it goes down quite a bit, you might experience margin calls. I actually did experience margin calls and uh, they've sent me plenty of, of, of warnings uh, in the app, by emails, all that stuff. So it's not like suddenly you, you have no idea, but what does a margin call looks like? It was Ave actually I was using, you know, for the bar and they said, we need you to deposit X number of extra Aves to cover the margin call because your loan to value is too low 
at this point. So we need more aves to cover the collateral, you know, of your loan. So I had to, luckily I had more aves, you know, so I was able to deposit more aves to cover this. So I didn't get liquidated, but if I didn't have those aves or if I couldn't add any more, I would have been liquidated. So uh, be very careful when borrowing. Liquidation is one of the main problems, especially right now, the market is extremely volatile. You know, it's all over the place. We see big drops, you know, and suddenly big jumps. Jumps are not a never a problem, but big drops are because that's when you could get, you know, a margin call and you could get liquidated. So be extremely, extremely careful with, with those loans try to avoid them as much as you can uh, and definitely avoid them don't use them to buy more crypto because if you're convinced that the market is going to go up and you're like oh my god i don't have any more cash so i'm going to borrow some money with my coins to buy some more coins if the market goes down and you made a mistake that's it you're going to lose everything you're going to get liquidated and you're going to lose everything so be very, very careful with those. The other big thing I want you to be aware of is they say borrow at 1%. Yeah, but that might cost you a lot more than 1% for a simple reason. In my case, I'm using Aave to, you know, to borrow the money. So once you use that money as collateral, those Aaves that they're using for the loan are not staking anymore they are not staked anymore they are in a collateral pool for them to make sure that uh, if something goes wrong they will get paid uh, they'll get their money back which is totally normal but suddenly i'm not making 4.86 on those aves and i'm paying one percent on the top of the uh, of the crypto that's the reason why they can afford to give you only one percent apr is because you're using coins that they're staking themselves, you know, and getting rewards instead of you. So really that 1% is really costing me about, about 6%. You know, if you put that 1%, the 486 together, roughly it's costing me, you know, about 6%. So it's a 6% loan, not a 1%. So be very careful. It's not like they're trying to be tricky or anything like that, but you need to, be aware of those of those things. So depending, like if you're using uh, your synthetics, for instance, that are at 14%, 14 plus one, you had 15%, roughly 15% on that loan. So sometimes it looks like it's a great deal, but it might not be such a great deal. And the last thing I want you to be aware is that on Celsius, when you borrow, you borrow for six months. 1%, you know, it's really like half a percent since it is for six months, if you only do the minimum, but you cannot really turn off the thing early. Meaning that if you really wanted the money for, let's say three months, and then you're like, oh yeah, well, uh, I don't need the money I, and the market is not doing too well right now. I'm afraid I, I might get liquidated or I might get a margin call, you know, uh, so I'd like to to stop that loan right now, they're not going to let you do that because you sign up for six months. And uh, I'm not saying that that's what they're looking for, you know, it's for you to get liquidated so they can get you coins. I don't think that's really the, uh, the their business model. But at the same time, they don't want you to reimburse early and they make less or whatever. So be aware of that it's six months and you cannot reduce that down so if in the meantime the market's going down you're gonna have margin calls and suddenly you're gonna need to come up with more coins you know and more money so once again be very very careful you know borrowing uh i would say if let's say you had whatever a thousand aves and you want to borrow some money make sure you really borrow small like borrow against 1000 aves make sure you know it, it, it's never more than like 20 percent of your stash uh, of your stash you know that uh, you're going to borrow against because otherwise you could really get in trouble very quickly with margin calls especially in today's extremely volatile market where we see like we go from fifty three thousand dollars bitcoin down to 43 down to 33 mm -hmm. in just 
one or two months. So, but otherwise, great platform. There's no risk in, in staking, you know, the money there. It's extremely safe. You know, the other thing that is awesome with them is uh, they're a huge company. So you know that uh, if there was an attack, if there is a problem, they will take care of their of their customers. You know, I mean, there's never 100% guarantees everywhere, but you know, they're a serious company. They they are backed up by some of the major players in the market. So uh, it's definitely a, a place you know that I feel personally you know safe. You know, putting uh, coins there. You know, maybe not all the coins, but you know, part of the coins there. Yeah, I think it's. That's it for me today. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, Coltons? Uh, no, the only thing I wanted to add was, is if you're into, you know, trying to figure out where to stake your coins, we do have a video uh, from about a couple of months ago on Celsius. I personally use Celsius. Um, I love it. You know, I was a little leery when, you know, first moving it over. But, you know, now, you know, as of recently, you know, with the market, it hasn't been the best in rewards. But, you know, as like Gore said two months ago, I was getting three, four dollar rewards a week. So, you know, um, it, it's a lot more than what your normal Wells Fargo or any bank will give you. So just don't have your coins sitting in Coinbase or somewhere and let them earn money for you and let them do a little bit of work for you. So you can go out and spend a little bit more the next time you want to get some crypto. Now. That's a good point as well, just so that people understand because you're getting in-kind rewards. Whenever they give you that reward, you're getting paid in kind. So meaning that if you have staked Matic, for instance, they will pay you in Matic. Now, the reward they're saying right now, oh, yeah, it's only a dollar. It's only two dollars because prices have gone down. Once prices will go back up, you know, all those rewards you've been accumulating month over month, they're going to go up as well because mm -hmm. they were in kind. They were never in US dollars. They were always in kind, meaning mm -hmm. in the cryptocurrency itself. So once the prices recover, you know, you're going to be able to, uh, you're going to see those rewards actually climb as well. So mm -hmm. if the prices go back up to what, where they were at two, three months ago, uh, all those rewards you've been accumulating, they're going to be uh, going up as well. Definitely. I hope this video helps. And uh, thank you, Colton. And thank you, everyone. We look forward to see you on the next video of uh, Crypto Night. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.